Hi, it's Lucien Governor from Nine Pillars, and today I'm going to share with you how you can go about increasing your conversion rates, so it's converting your leads into prospects during a sales meeting. Okay, welcome back. So, you know, during the sales meeting, you know, as always, we're always wanting to try and convert the prospect into a, a customer. But we've got to be careful that you know is it the right prospect, and that is why it's so important to set out a few ground rules, a few frameworks for yourself. Now, a lot of the prospects already know you. That's why they're having the conversation with you, whether it's by email, face to face, or over the phone. But what you need to do is move them through the process. So once they know you, they're going to like you, trust you, and then buy from you. But how do you move them through the process? Well, there's four key areas that we focus on, and we like to call it the four C's in lead conversion. The first C is around control. Now, control uh, sounds really easy and basic, but so many times when we're meeting with a, a, a prospect, they're trying to derail us. They'll ask us a lot of different questions that you know and doesn't follow kind of our process. So it's really important at the start of a meeting is to outline exactly how the meeting will go. So it could be part of the, that process that you, you're talking about to get control is you know let's leave the, uh, the Q and A to the end of our meeting. Um, that way, getting control of it, you basically will outline and give well, your prospect that there's a specific outcome at the end of your conversation with them. Okay, so the second C as part of our four part process is confidence. You need to give your prospect confidence that you're able to help solve the problem through either your service or your product. So you really need to really show them. You could be, you know, providing a, a, a benefit statement, showing some of the features, doing an actual demonstration for them as well. So there's a couple of key things you can do to help, you know, give them confidence, including even a testimonial case study. So you want to try and outline that, give them confidence in the meeting that you know exactly what you're talking about, and that they are, you know, you are the right person for them. Okay. So the third part of our, our process, the third C, is around commitment. And there's two things for me around commitment. One is you want to get your prospect committed to you. Okay. So what you need to do is kind of outline what is the product or service will be delivered. So if this product uh, or your solution is to be delivered in a few steps, outline those different steps. Show when they can start getting some results. For some of your products, it could just be immediately, which is great. Uh, but then, you know, what happens after the particular process once they've committed to you? The next part is, and this is what part I like, is your commitment to them. So being more around accountability, showing them this is what you're committed to doing to help solve their problem and try and do it in the, in the, the best time efficient way to do it. That process works really well to giving them confidence that you are the right person that they need to use. Okay, so the last part of our 4C process is around conversion, right? So this is where you actually convert the person, but your prospect isn't converted at the time they become a customer, like when they sign the dotted line or they do the transaction. Sometimes your actual conversion part of it could happen after the sales process. You know, are you sending them a welcome email if they're coming part of your program or wants to become a customer? Could you potentially convert them into other products or services down the track? What happens if you need to make them, you know, repeat the transaction? Sometimes it may not happen straight away from the repeat transactions. Some people happen, you know, once a year or you know, once every couple of years. But you want to make sure that you are communicating to them regularly enough so, you know, they're converting to other products and services. The other part of the conversion side of it is them actually referring um, you to their friends, you know, anyone that they come across. So the conversion part is a really important aspect of actually getting people through the sales process. Okay, so I hope you found that really useful. So in order to get a you know, person to know you, like you, trust you, and buy from you, there's four C's. And it's around getting control of, the, of your sales meeting, giving them confidence in the sales meeting, getting committed, and converting them into a long-term customer. I hope you found that really useful. Really love to hear your feedback, especially if you've got special ways on how to convert customers quickly, especially during the sales process. I uh, would love to hear that from you. Please do leave a comment below and we'll look forward to sharing a lot more content with you over the next few months. Take care. Bye.